starts now. Good evening and welcome to 12 News at 11. I'm Gina Cadigan. Thanks for joining us. We'll start with a developing story out of Tucker County as a man suspected in three murders in Maryland has been arrested in Davis. 46-year-old Jeff Jeffrey Allen Burnham was taken into custody this morning by Davis police officers. He was found on the side of the road with a red Corvette that police say he stole from one of his victims. Burnham is connected to three murders, one of which being a double murder in Ellicott City, Maryland. The victims were identified as his 58-year-old brother and his 57-year-old sister-in-law. Police say the first murder took place on Wednesday in Allegheny County where 83 -year -old, an 83 year old woman was killed and her car was stolen by Burnham. Burnham is being held in the Tiger Valley Regional Jail. West Virginia has once again surpassed 14,000 active COVID-19 cases. According to the DHHR, there are now 14,014 active cases in the state as 1,645 new cases were included in today's report. As has been the case for the majority of the week, the state's death toll has once again increased. It's at 3,722 today, as 52 deaths were included in today's report. They include 11 deaths from our area from Monagalia, Harrison, Ritchie, Marion, Taylor, and Randolph counties. And to be perfectly honest, we're going to probably still lose a lot, a lot of people. The only way we can stop it is what I've told you, and I've told you and told you and told you and told you. The only way in the world we're going to stop this is to get vaccinated. State health officials are confident that vaccines could soon get federal approval for children ages 5 through 11. One company says it's developed a pill that could cut the risk of COVID-19 hospitalizations and deaths in half. Company Merrick has planned to apply for emergency use authorization for this treatment. And Aware Nikki has more. A drug maker says their new pill cuts COVID-19 hospitalizations and death in half. The data are impressive. Dr. Anthony Fauci says the pharmaceutical company Merck briefed the White House COVID-19 response team on their findings late Thursday that show patients who take the antiviral pill within five days of COVID-19 symptoms had about half the rate of hospitalization and death than patients who received a placebo. In the placebo group, there were eight deaths, and in the treatment group, there were no deaths. That's also very important and very good news. The company is now seeking emergency use authorization from the FDA, which Dr. Fauci says will take some time. Because once a recommendation is made, then we go through the same process of getting the recommendation for its usage through the CDC. Still, White House Coronavirus Response Coordinator Jeff Zients says the government has already committed to purchase 1.7 million doses of the drug if it's authorized by the FDA. The government also has an option for some additional doses. But Zients says while this is good news, encouraging vaccinations remains the first priority. We want to prevent infections, not just wait to treat them once they happen. Merck says they will submit their data to the FDA in the coming days. If approved, the company says it is prepared to produce 10 million doses by the end of this year. In Washington, I'm Anna Warnicke. Today is October 1st, which means it's officially fall forest fire season. With that, fire departments across the state are urging people to follow burning guidelines. The Morgantown Fire Department says state laws prohibit starting a fire until 5 p.m. and that fire must be out by 7 a.m. The department says fires must be attended to at all times and there must be at least a 10-foot area cleared around the fire. A Morgantown fire captain says as these precautions are in place for the public safety and are important as we head into fall. Now, the area's most accurate forecast Storm Tracker 12 weather, certified storm ready and power.